Welcome back. So it is the first Tuesday of the month, which as always means that we get a new rotation of free assets on the Epic Marketplace. Not really. Well, changes have been made. We are still getting free assets, but there are some differences and some changes that have been made. So let's dig into this in as a concise a way as I possibly can. So first of all, we have a blog post here or a forum thread. Uh, which states that the sponsored content program, which is the uh, free rotation is actually called, uh, was an important and much loved feature of the marketplace. If you're not familiar with the sponsored content program, it was the initiative where we were partnering with sellers of the UA marketplace to offer free content for the community for a period of time. The program allowed sellers to boost their revenue and reach new audiences and buyers and acquire a lot of awesome products for free. So that's what we all liked and loved, right? So these are the changes that are happening here. So the bullet points are more frequent releases. New sponsored content will be released every two weeks and feature two weeks of publishers so that they have more opportunities to be featured and the Fab's community of creators has a great content to choose from. So it doesn't explicitly say so. Uh, what the, it says the cadence now, so it will be every two weeks. So we will essentially not be having a free rotation for the month. We will be having two free uh, sections for the month and each of these will be lasting two weeks so the free assets that we can get today we will be able to get within these two weeks then two new weeks start with a new set of items uh, normally we were given five items this time we'll be getting three so i don't know if they will be having it like three every two weeks so we will be getting a total of six uh, for the month, which is a slight increase. Uh, it could be because they are saying that publishers have more opportunity to be features. So they sort of imply that they have to have more than they had before, right? Uh, in addition to that, we also have some changes when it comes to the file formats. So sponsored listings may now include more file formats, which means that it might not always only be for Unreal Engine. It could be on Unity or any other kind of 3D file format that is supported on the platform. And there's also a payment structure. Now this also, this only affects the people that are actually uh, putting up their assets to be part of these free rotations. Uh, normally, if you were not aware, you would get a one-time payment of 7,500 US dollars uh, if your asset was featured in the free for the month. Uh, now you will be getting up to 5,000, which means that it could be lower. And this is determined by things like uh, the product's complexity, its level of detail, quantity of file formats on offer, and its product category. So sort of implying that they want to incentivize both complexity, uh, level of detail, the amount of platforms that can make use of it, and the product category might be something like a supply and demand kind of thing. So if they have too many 3D models or too many environments, then those might be getting less since the, it is possibly saturated or they have given so many of those in the past or something like that. These are just speculations on my part, of course, but essentially that's what's happening here. So the big part here is uh, that we are getting, sorry, did not mean to do that. Uh, the big part here is that we're getting uh, every two weeks now instead, and we're possibly getting three assets each time. So which are the assets that we're getting this time? Well, if we go to the Fab Marketplace and we refresh, we would normally have a category here if we scroll down that would say free for the month. Now we can see that we have free content, but there are no free for the month here. I'm assuming this is an oversight currently and it might be fixed by the time that you watch this video. But in case you are encountering this problem right uh, when you're watching this and you want to get the assets, uh, I'll give you an alternative to fix this. So what we can do is we can give, go to the specific uh, assets that are going to be given out uh, this time around. And one of these assets is the Hyper Outliner system. So the Hyper Outliner system here, you can see it has a, uh, two different licenses. It has a personal and a professional one. This might be something that changes in the future as well. I don't entirely know, and I guess we will find out because if we go to the forest animal one here, we can see uh, it has a, actually you can't see because I already downloaded this one just to test out how this worked. Uh, 
but the the animals one only had a personal license available to it so in this case you might end up with an asset that is meant only for personal and if you are a company or making something that's having more than 100,000 of revenue this might not be an asset that you can actually make use of so that's sort of like a bad thing uh, in some cases um, but essentially what you want to do if you want to get one of these assets what you have to do now is you you choose the license you want to have and you click buy now and you get to loading of an order and then you get to place your order you can see here that i get a discount of the complete price and the, the subtotal is zero so the percentage of discount that we see here currently is probably just a visual bug so you have to buy these manually to get them and that is the steps that you have to go through for all of these. Uh, the three assets that we're getting is the Hyper Outliner System, a Military Airport Props, and a Forest Animal Pack. These are the three ones. And for you to be able to navigate to these, I will leave descriptions, uh, I will leave links in the description down below so you can go directly to them and purchase or put them in your basket and, and get them essentially for free. So that's how we will be doing it for now until the bugs are sorted out. So let's check out the assets themselves. Uh, a small little detail uh, how to get these assets in case you didn't know. Um, after you have acquired the assets by purchasing them, uh, if they don't sh show up in your uh, Unreal Engine launcher in your vault, uh, click the little refresh button and they should hopefully be appearing there momentarily. Uh, once you've downloaded them and opened them up, this is what you get. This is the Forest Animals Pack. It is from Protofactor. And here I have to sort of give you a better overview. I have uh, moved all of the different animals that you get in this pack because you get a bunch of different ones into the same level so you get them all. So you can see here that we have uh, some wolves and a bunch of different animations for them. Attacking animations, running animations, falling over, uh, sleeping animations. And things like that. We also have some bunny rabbits doing all kinds of bunny rabbit things. Over here we have a fox with animations. These all seem to be very very similar but all right. So yeah a bunch of different fox animations as well and then we move on to some you know, boar animations and boar behavior here so we have a nice little looking boar uh, then we also have a bear the bear seems to be the one that has gotten most animations you can see those in play here and then we have some deer animations here a female and a male deer doing all kinds of deer stuff so yeah, that's what's included in, in the Forest Animals Pack. Next up, we have the Military Base by Freshcam. And this is the asset pack that we get. This is the demo level. So it's showing off all the different small parts uh, put together into something that uh, sort of realizes it, what a military base could look like with the assets that you get available to you. So you have a bunch of different things you have canisters and silos and uh, freight cargo containers and all kinds of different things when it comes to the sort of storage and making it look uh, like it's being used for different things and also hangers and small props around this area as well so it's sort of like a loading unloading storage kind of area for aeroplanes and maybe military equipment or something of that sort um, so yeah this is the military base and that's what it looks like uh, on the demo level let's take a look at the overview a little bit quickly and see what kind of asset parts you have so you can see that you have different parts here for the uh, the different runways and roads such you have some grass you have the hangars and all of the small buildings related to that and also some smaller bits and props to sort of put everything together yeah so that's what's included in the military asset pack next up we have 
and this is gonna be a tongue twister. We have Hyper Outliner and Symbols System by Games by Hyper. Okay, so that might have sounded a little bit weird, but that's what it is. So essentially here we have an outlining system and over here to the left we have the documentation for the basic setup explaining some, some basic things. Uh, I'm gonna spare you of that and just demonstrate what's going on here. So uh, we have three different objects here in front of us that all have different outliners being applied to them. So we have a primary, secondary and a third, uh, all being displayed by different colorations to distinguish them uh, between each other. Uh, so all of these are active currently here to see what they look like before and after because it's not very clear except for maybe the, the mannequin since we can actually see the difference between the controlled character and the result. Uh, we can actually walk over here and press buttons and see what it looks like with on and off uh, enabled. And here we have for the uh, symbol for Unreal Engine and here we have a primary which is a blue outline for the mesh. So. It also demonstrates how you can use something like a toggleable action to activate this, like uh, in this case a line trace, so we can see that these characters are lighting up and getting their outline. It also includes some symbols to them, uh, which you can see overhead of these characters. Uh, we can also see what these outlines look like on something if they're being obscured by something, if you want to have some kind of vision of outlines behind objects as well. So that's what this demonstrates. And in the end here, we also have the outlines uh, being applied to sprites themselves. So uh, I appreciate the demonstration and everything like that. Uh, it's very nice and, uh, and good that you get to see a clear use case for all the, these different things. And also that some measure has been taken to uh, create something that's both uh, modular and uh, separated uh, logically in the code so that it's easy to pick and choose what you want to make use of uh, which is often uh, the biggest problem with like large template kind of assets that you run into so yeah uh, that's the outliner system and this creates as a unique separate project if you wanted to start this one up as well Anyway, hopefully this was useful. Uh, I know that the structure is going to be a little different for free assets moving forward. Hopefully we will be uh, having less bugs when it comes to this in the future, so it's easier to both navigate and find things and also clearer to see that you're gonna get a discount when you try to purchase something. Uh, but also hopefully we will get uh, more assets since uh, we will be getting it more frequently, even though I just think that we will be getting on average one more assets per month. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.